I may be slightly biased because I love Shelley Long, but I thought Frozen Acids was a really enjoyable film and it's got 3.3 out of 10 on IMDb. So if you've considered watching this and then decided not to because of the rating, please give it a go. I thought it was very well done. Mostly funny, very funny a couple of times, but with some nice messages thrown in there as well. This was released originally in 1992. It's directed by George Miller and written by Don Klein and Tom Cartosian and stars, of course, the wonderful Shelley Long as Dr. Grace Murdoch and we have Corbin Burnson as Zach Shepard. And Zach Shepard takes a job at a bank and he's determined to go in there, make business fantastic, make a lot of money. Only when he gets there, and not even immediately, it takes him a little while, but eventually he realises that this isn't a money bank. It's a sperm bank. And he's, first of all, well, kind of shocked by this. The first time I laughed out loud, genuinely laughed out loud, is 10 minutes into it when he goes into the freezer where the sperm is kept in little tubs or whatever it is. And he picks one up and it, it takes him a second to realize what he's holding. And just the way he kind of screamed and ran out of the room just. It was unexpected and it really made me laugh and that's the only example of comedy that I'll give because I don't want to give away too much. As I said, that happened 10 minutes in. I didn't laugh out loud too often, but I did a couple of times and certainly I, I pretty much enjoyed all of the narrative as once he gets over the initial shock, he decides that he's still going to do what he set out to do and turn business around. And he does this by launching a competition for whoever can donate the most sperm for a cash prize. And interesting things start to happen to the people in the town as a result of this. We also have part of the narrative focusing on his relationship with Dr. Grace Murdoch. And I have to say, I love her. They have very contrasting personalities and that works so well and the relationship initially is very much chalk and cheese everything she says he says the opposite but as the film progresses of course they start to warm to each other they get along better and I won't say too much about what happens with that but I really thoroughly enjoyed their scenes together and I found this to be a very well written very funny film there are some moving moments in it for example Grace gives a speech at one point. I don't want to say what it entails because I don't want to spoil it, but she shared some some interesting thoughts. It's also very funny and I, I had a lot of fun with it. Yes, I am potentially partly biased because I love Shelley Long, but even if that character had been played by somebody else, as long as their performance was as good as Shelley Long's because I thought she gave a, a brilliant performance and no problems with any of the acting or the casting in this film, even if she'd been played by anybody else, I still would have enjoyed it because it's a well-written, entertaining narrative. I definitely don't think it deserves the current overall low rating on IMDb. And as I said, if you've looked at that and decided to not watch it because of that, give it a go. I, I think it's something that you'll find more entertaining than the reviews suggest. And of course, if there is somebody in it who you're particularly drawn to, then that's an added bonus. I thought Frozen Assets was a really fun film. I really enjoyed watching it. I wouldn't mind watching it again, not immediately, but certainly one day I think I'd, I'd be quite happy to watch it again and I'm certainly happy to recommend it.